What is up there guys, my name is Sabrez and today I am back bringing you some updated information in regards to Funcom's Conan Exiles. They just released some information about the servers. So server controls and mod support looking very cool for the upcoming Conan Exiles. What we have here is that it states that Conan Exiles, you have a wide variety of ways to play the game. You can host a local game where you can play alone, single player, or with a small group of friends connecting directly to your game session. So this is probably going to be something that you're going to spin up. Very similar if you played Ark Survival Evolved. Very similar to just hosting just a single player game that way. The other ways they, they state, you can play online on an official server hosted by Funcom, so those are the official servers. And then you can, lastly, you can play online on an unofficial server hosted either by yourself or another player. Funcom has also released that their official server partner is going to be Ping Perfect. I'm gonna have some information regarding that company, that business down below in the description information. Oh my gosh, I hope you don't worry. <laughs> too much about Old Spice. Totally unprofessional right there. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, so Ping Perfect information is going to be down in the description below. I personally, uh, I'm going to be setting up a server with Ping Perfect. I don't know a lot about them, but seeing as how they are the official server partner, I assume that means that on release date, uh, Ping Perfect servers are going to be ready to go and rock and roll with this. But at any rate, let's go ahead and jump into some of the server settings. As you can see here in the uh, pictures that are right about now, the, the settings you can see right here, you can have a server password, admin password, the ability to turn on and off PvP. Now, I don't know, it looks a little bit grayed out to me, so I don't know if you're actually going to be able to do that on the fly without doing some sort of server reset, but who knows. It says communities relax, no ownership, can damage player-owned structures, enable Sandstorm. So this is one of the in-game mechanics. If you don't know anything about the Sandstorm, please read some of the dev vlogs about that or find a video about it. Uh, I think I talked about the Sandstorm before in one of my videos, so feel free to check out one of the other videos I have that tells about some of the... Uh, earlier information anyway uh, you can adjust some of the XP rate multipliers so there's another picture coming up now that you can see the player XP rate multiplier player XP time multiplier player XP kill multiplier player XP harvest multiplier player XP craft multiplier these are all just the experience that the player is gonna get whether they are just standing around doing nothing getting experience killing someone or something getting experience, just harvesting or breaking up rocks, wood, anything like that, just getting and gathering stuff, experience, and then when you build stuff, experience. So you could actually make it uh, very uh, different on how you're going to level up your character. You can also see right there the day and night cycle. This is very similar to the stuff I've seen before, especially whenever I have uh, hosted my own server with Arc Survival Evolved. The day cycle speed, the ability to make the day day night cycle just zoom through stuff. Usually standard speed is about right. What you usually want to adjust is the daytime or night time. Uh, daytime slower means that the days last longer and the night time faster, usually like a 2.5 or 3.0 if you really want to go through it. What I'm probably going to do on my server though is probably just going to leave it alone. Maybe put a a 0.75 for the daytime and then a 1.0 or a 1.25 for the nighttime leave them pretty close to the same uh standard just because i don't know what to expect from this game it's gonna be something extremely awesome i'm really looking forward to this stuff but let's see if there is some information here regarding it um it's a, there's a lot of information i'm gonna have a link to the dev blog um posting about this stuff so you can definitely check out this stuff as well the mods are going to be interesting. I'm not a big modder myself. I don't play with a lot of mods, but I am interested to see what the modding community can come up with out there. But at any rate, I'm just super excited to get this game. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Is If you don't know, early access begins at the end of this month, Tuesday, January 31st, 2017. 
That is roughly two weeks away this game is going to be out. Like I said, I'm going to have my ping server ready to go so that I can jump on it immediately and start bringing you guys some actual videos. I'm going to probably have a Let's Play kind of uh, videos as well as like here's what we do. We're going to be harvesting, crafting, building, stuff like that. If you guys are interested in seeing or learning anything or you have any kind of comments, please let me know. If you enjoy this video, find that thumbs up button, then click flick or hit it for me because it greatly helps me out, really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe because Conan Exile videos are going to be coming out strong during the month of February. And as always, my friends, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.